Hey guys, this is Combat Squad and FB VOD, and this game, uh, it's a PVZ on Blue Storm, and this game I'm going to be showing you guys how to basically come back when you're totally screwed, and you're going to see what I mean later on, and sorry for the late start by the way, um, I I forgot to press the recording button, and then after I realized I forgot to press it, so that's why the recording is a little bit late, but you know, it shouldn't be any worry because it's still pretty much the same. And, um, yeah, so I'm doing a normal build order, uh, Forge Fast Expand, uh, again, uh, this is on Blue Storm, so there's only two positions, one of them's at 2 o'clock and one is at 7 o'clock, um, and right now, as you can see, he is the one spawning pool first, which means I should get my Forge first, and I should put down two cannons, um, I was just gonna see where my gateway is supposed to be placed, uh, so I can build my cannons accordingly, and, um, yeah, so nothing, uh, nothing really badly that's going on right now, so I'm gonna talk about some other quick things. Um, I know I haven't posted a video in like uh, a week, but you know, uh, expect that to be normal sometimes. Sure, I said I'll post like two videos a week, but expect one video a week to be normal because I wouldn't call it normal, but, I w but don't expect, don't be surprised if it's over. Don't be like, oh my god, it's over. Uh, he hasn't posted a video in a week because sometimes it's going to be like that, but hey, at least you're getting a constant flow of videos coming around, but yeah, so there's not going to be not no more than two a week probably but no less than one a week hopefully but yeah so i know because i got lots of messages saying uh oh, you haven't posted a video in two three weeks and i was just like um sorry about that but you know i've been busy and right now i'm getting my gateway and technically you're supposed to get your nexus first but i'm just uh, screwing around a little bit i'm getting my gateway and gas basically it's supposed to go nexus gateway then gas i'm doing uh gateway gas and then nexus um it's probably, it's raw, like, um, this is actually not what you're supposed to do, of what, I, it's supposed to be Nexus, um, Gateway and then Gas, but, whatever, and if you guys sense something different in my voice, it's because I have a small cold, and I can't talk that well, but, you know, it's best to my ability, and I'm still doing this video, and I was supposed, gonna put, put a cannon over there, but then it wouldn't help, uh, it wouldn't stop my gas, uh, sorry, it wouldn't protect my gas, so I wanted to make one over here, and I know he is going for a speed link one by, because I've seen, uh, speedlings, and this map is actually very, very good to do a speedling run by on. And as you can see, he has okay. Yeah, here we go. There's a speedling run by. Regularly, I try to stop it, but now since I have a cannon over here, um, that's all pretty much. That's all I need, and I'm gonna be really, really safe by making sure uh, his zerglings will not get to it. And he's uh, he is trying to get to it, but uh, he will not be able to. And as you can see, this cannon is in perfect range to reach all those. Zerglings, and that's exactly why I made it over there, and that's why I cancelled my early, earlier one, so it's all worth it. And I still haven't made my Nexus, as you can see. Um, that's actually very long. I'm getting kind of greedy with this build, like I'm trying to uh, finish him off fast with my uh, early tech, but uh, it's probably not going to work. Uh, this is post-game commentary. I usually don't do uh, in-game commentary anymore, uh, mainly because... Well, again, I'm really rusty, and I don't have... I have to really, like, get back my experience. Or, what do you call it? I basically have to get back in the... Get back into the... Sh into the... Uh, get back into the swing of things. I guess that's what you can call it. Um, f uh, before I can actually be uh, fully ready to record videos while I'm playing. Because right now, it's it takes a lot of brain power. Like, it's not easy to record a video while playing... Sorry, commentate a video while playing it. And now I'm finally getting my Nexus, uh, like, five hours late, but whatever, and I do have a probe at his base, he hasn't found it, so I'm going to go make a pylon here, and hopefully get some DTs inside his base, and I have my Citadel all done, my Stargate's also done, so I'm going to start producing Corsairs, and uh, don't tell me, oh frick, okay, yeah, so um, that sucks, he has uh, Zerglings that can reach here, which is should be kind of expected, but whatever, I'm going to kill these quickly, and I'm going to make sure those zerglings die because they're gonna be a pain in the ass if they don't. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, that was kind of stupid on his part, but whatever. Um, yeah, he's not really paying attention to those zerglings, and they're all dead. So now I'm good, and I don't know uh, what he's doing now. I'm, I, I would go scout him, except I need this probe to make this gateway that I am. And now that like uh, I have my course out, I can scout with that. Um, uh, again, right right now, nothing too big going on. I should really scout with this Corsair because he could be going uh, Hydra, Speedlings, like quadruple expand. He could be doing so much things and I don't even know what because I don't have a scout. Again, Starcraft, it, the key in Starcraft is to scout your opponent and know what he's doing. And this is exactly the reason. As you can see, I just got like anal raped right here because I did not scout him. If I did scout him, I would know this that was coming and I would have had more cannons to defend. 
Although thankfully I have a gateway made over he made made here, so I can go defend my own base. And I'm making I'm spamming cannons all across my my base because, um, as you can see, my natural is just pretty much owned right now. And um, I have coursers, and they're pretty much all I have right now. And he has three bases, although two of his bases aren't mining anything, so I guess it's still one base versus one base, although I still give him a little bit of an advantage because he can still uh, make stuff out of his bases, uh, unlike me. Like, he can just switch over to full economy mode right now if he wanted to and just produce uh, mass drones and overrun me in late game, although, um, what do you call it? I'm just going to try to get my DT and do some damage with it. This is pretty much my only hope right now. If this DT does not do damage, I'm going to be screwed. And he's making a crap load of overlords, I have no idea why, but as you can see, his Zerglings are at my base, so uh, I'm hoping this DT does some damage, and as you can see, he ha he is aware that it is there, and so he is running his units, and he's scrambling his drones, and I'm still constantly making sure there's no overlords that it is natural, or his, th or his third expansion, ah, come on DT, frick, okay, that DT's dead, but my second DT's on its way, and now as you can see, all his Zerglings are all coming back, so I'm going to make this DT, like, just chill over here for a little bit. I don't think he knows that I have a. I don't think he knows that I have a proxy in his base, but whatever. That's gonna cost him the game again. This is both. Both of us pretty much lost this game because of scouting. If I scouted, I would not have gotten my natural to die to speed things. And if he scouted his own base, then he would never have lost to this DT, as you can see. And now he has like three drones left, two drones left. Okay, well three drones left, two. Okay, uh, drones killing uh, DTs. That's when you know. Um, DTs. That's when you know your DT is uh, like dead, pretty much. And now um, I have DTs. Can I have DTs being produced at my main main also? And he has found this finally. So I'm gonna try to get this uh, DT to kill as many things as it can before it dies. Although I I just realized that he only had like three four probes left. So I'm gonna go kill these three probes and sorry drones. And now as you can see, he knows he has very little drones, so he's trying to micro like crazy. He has four hatcheries though, so. Uh, it would be really easy for him to replenish his economy as long as he has like one or two drones left. And um, I just need to kill one more drone. I know I got, I'm going to get his two drones at his third expansion. I just need to kill this one more uh, drone at his main and then I know it's GG because then he cannot mine at all. And yeah, those two drones are dead and now this one drone needs to die. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, it's dead. Now he calls GG right when it dies. And that's pretty much it. Um, as you can see, he has three bases versus my one, although the probe saturation really made the difference. And um, post game commentary, uh, sorry, post game analysis. Uh, pretty much for what he could do is just scout. If he scouted that proxy in his base, he would never have lost. And the best thing I could have done was scout to make sure those feedings weren't going to come in time, and then that would have prevented him from doing so much damage to me. And that's pretty much it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I mainly recorded it just so you guys would know that I still I'm still here, and you know, lots of you guys think I'm d dead, but I'm not dead. I'm still here. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, again, if you can donate, uh, donate on my PayPal. It's on my homepage. Surprisingly, no one has done it yet, but whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care.